We have two Asus top here and both of them are 2024 models, but which one should you get? This Asus Tough right here is Asus Tough F15 2024 and it has Core i7 H CPU with RTX 4070 and the left one is Asus Tough F16 with Intel Core i7 HX processor and Nvidia RTX 4060. But which one is more important, CPU or GPU? It may be easy for someone to say, oh, go for CPU or go for GPU, but it depends a lot on what you want to do with these laptops. And we should see how well they can perform in different applications. We reviewed both laptops in two different videos, and I will link both videos in the description below so you can see the reviews individually for each laptop. In terms of body and chassis, um, F16 is a little beefier than um, F15, and it's a little thicker and heavier why because hx processors are a lot hotter and uh, they need better cooling compared to uh, normal h processors so uh, asus had to uh, make this laptop a little bigger and a little heavier to increase the cooling performance of the laptop and uh, this is the only difference in terms of body and chassis design and the display is different too the f16 has a 16 inch 165 hertz screen at 300 nits almost and the f15 has a 15.6 inch display with 144 hertz refresh rate both of these screens supports 100 percent of srgb and almost 70 percent of adobe rgb which means they are good enough for everyone who wants to do their content creation workloads or even games so let's get to the performance the main part of this video as i said this laptop i mean asus tough f16 as Intel Core i7 13650HX processor with RTX 4060 and it supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM but this model right here has 32 gigabytes at 4800 MHz speed and on the right we have Asus Tough F15 uh, 2024 it has Intel 13620H CPU alongside RTX 4070 at 140 watts um, and also I should say, uh, this laptop F16 supports up to uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM like the F16, but it supports um, higher clock speed for the RAM. It supports up to uh, 5600 megahertz speed, uh, which is good enough, but I don't know why uh, this mid-range CPU can handle up to 5600 megahertz speed, but the high-end CPU can't. This is Intel. Okay, let's get to the benchmarks. The F16 will be a lot better in CPU performance and the F15 will be a lot better in GPU performance. But how much better? Uh, we tested Cinebench R23 on, the, on both laptops and in the F16, we got more than 80,500 scores, which is one of the best scores we've ever seen with this CPU, I mean 3650HX processor. And on the F15 and we got almost 50,000 scores, more than 14,800 score, uh, which is good. Uh, it's good for the CPU, but it's a lot less than uh, F16 on the CPU benchmark. We also tested Cinemesh 2024. In Cinemesh 2024, uh, it was like uh, the same pattern as R23. We had almost 11,000 scores on the F16 and 900 scores on the F15. As you can see on the screen, the chart is based on the multi-core scores and it's a lot better on the F16. It's around 10 to 15 percent better on the F16. But in the GPU side, uh, we have better results on the 4070 in the F15 uh, because it is 4070 at 140 watts and 4060 with 130 watts, it will be less powerful than the F15 with 4070. In the Geekbench 6, we tested both laptops and I can say the scores are interesting because uh, they are uh, not that different from each other. Uh, we have two different models, but uh, the same laptop. And I gotta say, this is the first time I see Geekbench as an interesting result. We also tested Time Spy in both machines. And as you can predict, uh, Time Spy performed a lot better on the 4070. 
uh, we got more than uh, 12,500 scores on the F15 with 4070 compared to 11,000 scores on the F16 with 4060. And this is because of the better GPU on the F15. Time Spy can show us how well GPU heavy tasks like uh, games or 3D applications can perform in the laptop. And the winner here is F15. Uh, we also tested content creation workloads. This is interesting because uh, it's uh, almost a CPU intensive application uh, rather than a GPU heavy. And uh, it depends a lot on the CPU performance and the RAM performance. And as you can see on the screen, both laptops perform great. Uh, in Adobe Premiere, they have the, almost the same score, four minutes and 42 on the F15 and four minutes and 41 on the F16. But in Adobe After Effects, the CPU matters a lot, especially the single core performance. And because of that, uh, our winner in Adobe After Effects is F16. We also tested some games in both laptops and in Cyberpunk 2077, we tested preset ray tracing ultra in both machines. In ray tracing ultra, F15 performed a lot better than F16 with almost 10 to 15%, even 20% better results. And we also tested ray tracing ultra with frame generation. And in this scenario too, 4070 performed a lot better than 4060 on the F60. As you can see on the screen, we also tested ultra preset on both machines. In this preset, Cyberpunk will uh, automatically turn on FSR. And in this scenario too, F15 with 4070 performed better. Uh, we also have uh, one uh, preset for ourselves, I'm in mode uh, without any help from FSR, AI, DLSS or anything else. And in this uh, scenario too, we got uh, better results on the 4070 with F15. I think it is obvious which one is better for games. <laughs> And uh, we also tested Rainbow Six Siege on both machines. In Rainbow Six Siege, we uh, tested uh, both laptops in ultra high and low preset. We got more than 10% better performance on the F15 because of 4070, which is obvious. But uh, one interesting result we have here is on the low preset, because CPU matters a lot in the low setting, um, the average FPS is almost the same in both laptops. But if you want to play a game at the best quality possible, I can say the better GPU means better performance. But if you want to play eSports game at low quality with more FPS, you should depend on better CPU. We also tested Valorant in this machine, which is a CPU heavy game. And it is obvious the laptop with better CPU performed better than the laptop with better GPU. There is a lot of better here. <laughs> And Apex Legends. Apex Legends is a GPU heavy game and as you can see on the screen, Apex Legends performed a lot better, almost 10 to 15% better in both scenarios on the Asus of F15. But on the low quality again, uh, we can see that F16 uh, catches up with F15 and because of that, as I said, if you want to play eSport titles at the best frame possible, the CPU matters a lot. Uh, we also tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the on the both machines, and as you can predict, both laptops performed well, but the better results belongs to F15 with 4070. In conclusion, I can say if you want to play a lot and if you want to buy a laptop to game. You, you just want to play games, your main focus is games or even 3D applications like Blender, Maya or 3D Max or something like that. You should get the Asus TUF F15 with RTX 4070 at 140 watts. But if you don't want to play games a lot, but you want a budget gaming laptop with the best CPU performance possible, like you are a video editor, you are a photographer, you are a uh, programmer, you are a developer, your work is related to something like that, you should get the Asus TUF F16 because the CPU in the F16 is a lot faster and a lot more powerful. And it is obvious when you are working with both laptops. Uh, this is it. Uh, I can say for myself, because I am a video editor, I'm a YouTuber, I will go with F16. But if you are a gamer, just buy the F15 because it is a little cheaper than the F16, almost $100 cheaper with better GPU. What do you think about these laptops? Tell us in the comments below and which one you choose, F15 or F16? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.